What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're getting some slalom in. As you can see behind me, I set up a, a makeshift slalom course. Uh, only have 10 cones, I believe. The standard is 20. Uh, if you, you'll also notice that they're wider soccer cones. So not a great thing for slalom, but uh, it's the only thing I had in the garage. So we're just gonna make it work. Um, I forgot to bring my tape measure. So I don't know if these are the 80 centimeters or 32 inch spread. I believe they're probably a little looser than that but uh, that's probably a good thing because they're on a slight downhill. So, yeah, I'm uh, excited to see what I could do. I'm just gonna keep it basic, but I figured I got this great pavement over here and uh, it's just perfect for some flatland slalom skating. So uh, I've really only done just basic slalom skating around cones uh, a handful of times in my life. I have not put that much effort into trying slalom skating, but it's just a part of inline skating that I just kind of want to start trying it out. So. Uh, let's see what we got. Let's go. some uh some fun stuff definitely happy that i went a little more on the wider side with these cones also i'm rocking the twister 4x80 and they're flat they're not a rockered frame so i don't have that banana like super quick tight turn to them they are my shortest frame and my smallest big wheel so that's a good thing but going downhill and having a four down frame i'm glad i kind of erred on the longer side of spacing these cones out. Super fun though. Definitely got, I think what's called the fish down where your feet are both together. And then uh, I got the snake down on both sides where your feet are kind of scissored like one in front of the other. Uh, and then I even did some single one footers all the way through. Those were a little sketchy, but I got them on both sides, which was pretty fun. The only thing I couldn't do uh, was go fakie through them. I could do every other cone going fakie through them but man I can't turn as tight going going backwards <laughs> but uh yeah it's a lot of fun let's keep going ups or whatever they're called where you're going in and out of each one. Oh my god that's so hard but I just got through it <sighs> so I think I got the basics down at least on this this setup uh, and I got one crossover done. That felt so good. It feels so sketchy to be like crossing your feet in between each one. Like every other, yeah, sure. Every single one, man, your mind like in your feet, there's something about that like, you just get in this zone of like, your mind is your feet. It's so crazy. Definitely a lot harder than it looks, especially the uh, freestyle slalom stuff that skaters do. Man, kudos out to them, uh, like Tiago and whatnot. Dude, I don't know how they dance between cones like this. It just blows my mind. So, uh, don't think I'll ever be there. Don't think I ever want to be there necessarily, but uh, just getting out in some cones, like it just makes you aware of your feet and uh, your edges and just balance. And it's just a great, great practice for any kind of skating. Uh, yeah, I would, I, would, 
I highly recommend if you got some cones, just go out to a flat, smooth surface and just start pumping them. It's, it's a lot of fun uh, for, you know, little little space that you have, just flat land and some cones. But uh, let's keep going. Right, guys hope you enjoyed something a little different than what you normally see me skate I totally encourage you guys to get out there get some cones and just start carving through them I mean I only got 10 and they're pretty wide the possibilities are endless just on a few cones on a flat piece of concrete so get out there do some slalom stuff it's good for any kind of skating I highly recommend it just for skill wise skill building uh, one thing I just want to show you these are the these are the cones that I'm using as you can see, they're like the size of my head, um, way too wide. The actual cones for slalom, I'm sure you've probably seen, are very short and they're super narrow, about three inches at the base probably. So really bad thing about these, they're kind of dangerous, is you can easily roll up on the edge of these and your wheels can get caught. These things will just slide out from under you, like right as your wheels going on top of them. So don't recommend using these kind of uh, cones for doing slalom. Um, the taller normal cones that are big or the actual slalom cones are much better uh, and there's no way of really getting on them with your wheel um, and they're just gonna slide out of the way if you bump into them instead of basically rolling on them and then your wheel getting stuck and sliding completely sideways uh, with these bad boys so but yeah I hope you guys like this video if you did you guys know what to do like comment subscribe and make sure you ring that bell so you don't miss any of these uploads and guys until next time just keep rolling <laughs>